Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome to the Daily Inspirational Oracle Reading. If you have any problems or concerns, darling, and you're looking for a sign or perhaps another perspective or another way to look at it, perhaps this video can help. Or you can simply allow your mind to settle within your heart and let whatever issues or problems you're having surface from your subconscious mind and let it resonate with this video. So I'm going to go over three cards with you, darling, and I'm going to give you a energy check-in checkup for the for the day okay the first card I have for you is the matter who represents dark energy and matter which is the raw creative force of the universe his message to you today is your life is a reflection of your daily actions the next card I have for you is from jungle beauty goddess Katara who represents our root chakra darling our money Yes, our money, our connection to our community. Um, your body is your most valuable asset on earth. Okay, I love this. This is a good reading today, guys. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you today is, you don't find love, you resonate love, and it finds you. So I want to just talk about each card and then just pull them together for you so the card with the matter your life is a reflection of your daily actions I mean it's almost like a card that doesn't need any further ado right if you think about your life and what you say you want and how much time you have actually spent doing the thing that you say you want you may surprise yourself right you might say oh my god where's the book I was supposed to finish yeah, where is that dream that I was supposed to be working on? Where is that degree that I was supposed to be getting? Because if I really look at my life and I look at my behaviors and how I've actually conducted myself, you'll see that the two probably doesn't add up. Now, I'm a psychologist, but yeah, I'm not, you could know that because I'm so, you know, off the beaten path, let's say that. But one of my favorite theories was B.F. Skinner. And the reason I like, like B.F. Skinner is because he was a behaviorist. And a behaviorist is a perspective, a theor is a theoretical, theoretical perspective that you look at the actions. Like Freud, Sigmund Freud was saying, oh, darling, we need to know what's going on in their head, what they're thinking, why they did what they did. But B.F. Skinner says, no, I don't care about why the thinking process or the subconscious I don't care about their childhood. I don't care how they were raised. I care about their actions because actions are are, are more credible and their actions are more likely to predict future behavior. So B.F. Skinner would watch these different animals and he would come to conclusions about what how they would perform based on watching their actions. Now, I know that some people might, you know, of course this is why we have so many different theorists and I know a lot of people may disagree with B.F. Skinner and being a behaviorist but my daddy was also a behaviorist and my dad always told me it doesn't matter what a person says to you what a person says to you means nothing what matters to you is are their actions my father always said and especially don't listen to a man he said don't look at what he say because a man would tell you anything to get what he wants from you you have to look at how he treats you you know, is he calling on time? Is he picking you up on time? Is he keeping promises to you? My father said these are the characteristics that let you know about a man's character. So I've always been a behaviorist. And I know that with that being said, if you look at your actions, you may have these big dreams and you may, you know, do all of these spiritual you know, there's so much spiritual stuff like visualization and um, law of attraction and all this other good stuff, right? But if you really haven't sat down and, you know, put pencil to paper, if you haven't taken the time to draw that picture, if you haven't taken the time to make that video, if you haven't done any of those things that you say you want, it really doesn't matter, does it? I mean, like all of the other the good, the magic candle, the, the spells, <laughs> none of it works if you don't, your daily actions are the, you know, is a, is a pretty good indicator of where you are in life, how serious you are about your dreams, and where you're headed. 
So that's the first card. So just remember, guys, whatever you want, please, I hope if you don't have a plan in action that you're actually executing, you are really not that serious about it. Cause, because when you get serious about it, you're going to be about it. Now, the next card I have in this reading for you today is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, who represents our root chakra. And she says, your body is your most valuable asset on earth. Now, I know that what I'm about to say is a lot of people, you know, want to agree with it. And, I, and I'm not trying to make sure that everybody agree with me. I'm just, I'm just speaking my truth. This is just how I feel. I think a lot of times people, they value their gym shoes and their cars and their purses and their jewelry um, more than they value their bodies. And we can tell how much we value our body it goes back to the first card, which is your daily actions. The food we choose to eat, right? Are you taking vitamins? Are you drinking enough water? Are you getting enough sleep? Um, are you, really, you know, child, I'm not you know, your medical doctor and you don't, this is not about that. We don't even... Well, we do need a medical doctor, but for the most part, we know how we're treating ourselves. Like, are you eating healthfully? Are you being conscientious about, you know, um, not just your physical body, because we're talking about your the, your aura, the people you choose to be around. So, Katara represents your root chakra, which has to do with your earth suit, darling, and how you, you know. Your, which is, has to do with your purpose and your mission. But your earth suit is also rooted into the planet. She also represents the element of earth. So if you think about the nutrients of, that are needed for healthy soil in order for something to grow, are you rooted in a community? Are you rooted in an environment? Are you around people who encourage you, who support you, who inspire you, who uplift you, who believe in you, darling? Because that, those are the nutrients of the earth of which your roots are immersed. Does that make sense? So your body being your most valuable asset, and if you look at the way you treat yourself and the people that you allow in your inner circle, then this is going to tell you also if you're going to have an opportunity to bloom to bloom and to be the highest and best version of yourself. There is nothing you own, trust me on this, yeah, there is nothing you own that is more valuable than your body, than you are to you. Because honey, when you, you know, if you're not here and if you're not healthy, if you had a billion dollars and you couldn't spend it, what difference does it make? If you're, you know what I mean? Because, and, or if you were incapacitated in some way because of, in some way that you could have avoided. So, for a lot of people, I feel like, you know, yeah, people who drive crazy, like, I'm thinking, like, don't you know that you are flesh and bones and you're doing, like, in the way you're driving? Like, I don't understand why you're not valuing your life and the life of the other of other people to whom you are coming in contact with. So, I feel like, you know, valuing our body is the vehicle you know it's so important because it is the vehicle to our dreams it is the vehicle that allow us to have healthy and nurturing relationships with other people and to be on this planet until we're ready to go you know what i'm saying so the next card i have in this checkup guys is from jungle beauty goddess kalahari and jungle beauty goddess kalahari's message is you don't find love darling you resonate love and it finds you so, you know what this means, and why I love love this card so much, is, you know we were talking before about being rooted in a really good soil, and your, your roots are immersed into the ground, and the soil is rich, right? So, I want you to imagine yourself as being this big, this large, enormous, healthy tree. You're just, and you're, you know, you're just so big and healthy and your leaves and your flowers have all blossomed, darling, and you are just proud. And now when you are this enormously healthy, beautifully blossomed tree, darling, are you chasing anything or is everything coming to you? Yeah. Okay. The butterflies are landing on you. The birds are landing on you, darling. 
all of nature is coming to you because you are just grand okay because you are rooted you are strong you are healthy see when you are grounded rooted um you know you are taking care of yourself you are doing what you're supposed to be doing and we all know what the what that means when I say do what you're supposed to be doing there are so many people who are in med school but they really want to be a teacher and people who are a teacher but they really really wanted to um, be a pilot you know what I'm saying to me rooted means that you are true to who you are and you are in the right soil in the right play environment where you can cultivate your dreams where you can grow and where you can blossom so but when you are doing that things come to you does this make sense this is how you know that you are where you're supposed to be because things are coming to you you're not chasing things the butterflies are landing on you darling the the ladybugs and all of the beautiful insects and all of the beautiful birds darling all of the wonderful parts of nature they're, they're coming to you because you're radiating because you're glowing does that make sense well, I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you, darling, in the next video.